morning, everybody. We are getting breakfast started today, and we are having pumpkin pecan waffles. Yes, I am very excited. So I was inspired to do this by my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works, pumpkin pecan waffles. And also Walmart has that one that I think is called pecan waffles or something like that. Anyway, I was thinking about those candles and decided I would actually make that for breakfast this morning. So I'm using complete pancake mix, just the crusties kind. But if you wanted to do homemade, you could just, you know, use flour, baking powder, whatever you would use instead of the complete pancake mix. You can use your recipe for the homemade part of that so I just put in two cups of the pancake mix and then I added just a little bit of pumpkin pie spice I would say I probably put in about an eighth of a teaspoon maybe a quarter teaspoon not too much because I'm gonna be putting some of the canned real pumpkin in here too so I got that in there then I put in two tablespoons of brown sugar and then I'm just gonna mix that all together. That's all of the dry ingredients. So I'm just mixing those all together, making this up as I go too. So I did look up a couple of recipes and I was like, eh, I think I can just make something up. So that's what I did and it turned out great. So now I put in a half a cup of water. I think it was a half a cup. I'm pretty, I'll have all the exact measurements down below for y'all. Now I'm just stirring all of that together and then I bring out the canned pumpkin. I only use half the can and y'all, these were so good, I totally wish I had doubled this recipe and had some to put in the freezer. So if you, you know, want to double it, you would use, you know, a whole can of the pumpkin and I definitely will next time. I did save that other half the can though. I just put it into a little container and stuck it in the refrigerator. So now I'm just mixing all of this up and then we put in one egg. It's such a pretty orange color too, isn't it just so pretty? I mean, just look at it. Would you look at it? Okay, so now I'm just spraying the waffle maker and the batter is pretty thick. And I thought at first, I was like, I may have messed this up. I might have, you know, should have added a little something more, maybe some milk or something. But all I did was put it in there and then spread it out a little bit. And they were seriously perfect. I mean, they're, they're like a fluffy yet thick waffle and it was just amazing. I'm just, it was really, really, really good. I wouldn't change a thing now. At first I was thinking, I probably am gonna be thinking I should have changed something, but no. I wouldn't change a thing, they were so good. So I'm also cooking up some bacon over here on the griddle, so I'm getting that started. And by this time, the house was smelling pumpkin-y, bacon -y, and it was great. It was smelling like a beautiful Saturday morning. <laughs> and then here comes Titus starting coffee. Triple amazing smells. Okay, we are ready to eat. I also made some eggs and just sliced up some strawberries to go with it. And I'm using this maple vanilla whipped cream that I got from Aldi to go on top of them. And then I put, oh, I forgot to tell y'all about the toasted pecans. I stuck those in the oven for just about seven to eight minutes <laughs> to toast them. I got so excited talking about the waffles, but yeah, we toasted those. And I put some of those on there and some maple syrup and y'all, I'm telling you, I believe this is my absolute favorite breakfast, especially for fall. I mean, it is amazing. Make this for your people, I'm telling you. Even people, even Tyler doesn't really like pumpkin stuff, but he loved these. He came back for seconds. You'll see him, there he is. There he is right there. That's his third waffle. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, they're so good. And now, what else would I be having but pumpkin spice coffee? <laughs> Thank you. 
y'all. Those waffles were amazing. Now, we're gonna go with Titus to feed the cows. Giddy up! You riding? Uh-oh. You want down? Switched from the boots to the Sunday shoes, I see. You wanna go see the cat cacks in those shoes? <laughs> you gonna wear daddy's shoes or your shoes? Cat cat. Come on, let's get your boots, okay? Now we're ready. He's gotta shut the door. No doors left open, huh? We're coming out here to let the chickens out. I did not realize this was Labor Day weekend until yesterday, whenever everybody was like, have a great holiday weekend and all in the comments. And I was like, what? It's Labor Day weekend. And it seriously feels like fall today, y'all. I'm not even joking about it. I'm not even just saying it because I love the way fall feels. It really feels like it. I think it's in the low 70s. Manly loves to skip the rocks. Are you trying to skip them? He sees Jonah and everybody's skipping rocks, so he wants to try. Whee! You got one! Oh, okay, we're just gonna sit down and get comfortable here, huh? You ready to go let the chickens out? You go open their door for them. It smells so good out here too. It smells like fresh cut grass. And just look at all these leaves. I think this is the earliest in many years that we already need to rake. They're everywhere. Listen to the crunch, crunch, crunch. Good afternoon. They're waiting at the door, ready to go. Watch the excitement. Thrilling, absolutely thrilling. Ah! <laughs> Have fun. Did you find a cracker? Yeah, I see that. You like it, huh? Is that my cousin? We always love to find the acorns. Look what I found, Manny. I found the acorns. Look. I 